Welcome to another video. I am the Starman and I'm sorry I can't do my little wave because I'm holding a light on my face so you can see me. Can you see that uh, that bright point in the sky over there? That's the moon. It's, uh, it's a full moon we've got tonight. Absolutely spectacular full moon. Now I am not at home in this video. I'm on a bit of a holiday. I'm actually up in Cumbria and I've just been up this hill here it's called Hode Hill which overlooks the town of Ulverston in the Lake District. I'm actually here on a bit of a holiday and I wasn't expecting to do any videos but here I am doing a video about the moon. Now as you can see now if you look back over here spectacular moonrise I'll just show you a bit of video now of when it was rising before it looked absolutely amazing and it was rising in the earth's shadow the belt of venus that's the moon coming up just earlier so it just poking up above the hill quite murky as well a little bit murky down down below there but uh, a spectacular moon you know i've seen so many moon rises in my time and i never ever get tired of watching a full moon rise it looks absolutely amazing it's getting up a bit higher now and a little bit brighter now as we head towards um, the early hours of next morning, it's a Tuesday evening as I'm filming this. Now, Wednesday morning in the early hours, around about half past one, it's going to start to be eclipsed by the Earth's shadow. Yeah, we're going to have a, a partial lunar eclipse in the early hours of tomorrow morning. And I want to see if I can capture it. Now, at the moment, as you can see, it's pretty much full. Now, during the eclipse, which starts at around about half past one, I think, and the maximum eclipse is around about three o'clock in the morning, something like that, I think. That's when we're going to have the fullest moon that we can get, but it's going to have a bit of a dark patch on it. So um, it's not going to be like a total eclipse, you know, where you get the blood moon. We're not going to have that, but we are going to have a bit of a... It's going to have a bit of a dirty patch on it, so it's going to be quite interesting, folks. So I'm going to head back now to where I'm staying at a caravan site, and uh, I'm probably going to go to bed and then I'll get up around about, I don't know, half two or something like that and we'll go outside and we'll see what the moon looks like, shall we? It, the, the eclipse should be well underway by then and we'll see, well, we'll see what it looks like, shall we? Okay, I am now back and it's around about seven hours later than it was before when we saw the moon rise, the spectacular moon rise from Ulverston in Cumbria. This is where I'm staying. I'm actually staying here on a, a caravan site, a holiday park. This is the caravan right here. Oh, it's dead swanky inside. Oh, it's very posh and I've got this... Uh, decking it goes all the way around look at this I'm keeping my voice down because it's three o'clock in the morning and uh, I don't want to wake everybody else up I've just seen a van go around a security van going around checking up really really safe in here so like I say it's three o'clock in the morning and uh, the eclipse has actually started I'm looking up at the moon now I'll show you in a second it looks spectacular um, not as spectacular as a total lunar eclipse where the moon turns a red colour but it certainly looks weird i'm just going to turn the camera around so you can see what i can see straight ahead so just ahead we can see got another van there look there are our neighbors now if we look up here look oh look at the moon there shining brightly it's pretty much just past the southern meridian so that's about as high up as it gets and you can't tell on here that it's going through an eclipse, but I can see it by eye. So what I'm going to do is we're going to set this camera up here. There's my camera there, my big camera. And uh, what we'll do is I'll show you the view through there. I've got a 300 millimeter lens on that camera. So we're going to zoom in on the moon and we'll see the eclipse. It looks amazing. Just wait till you see this.
now then check this out i've got my 75 to 300 millimeter lens on here and we're currently right at 75 mil i'm now going to do sorry 70 mil not that it makes a whole lot of difference but uh, let's start to zoom in on the moon here we go folks look at this you can see it already can't you can you see that that actually looks really amazing folks the moon it looks dirty it does can you see that I'm going to go right in here to as far as that's as far as I can go. Look at that. I'll just try and centre that a bit if I can. Just look how the moon is really, really bright towards about eight o'clock. Can you see that? And yet, if you look the opposite way towards about one o'clock, two o'clock, it's definitely darker. Oh, that's amazing, isn't it? Don't you think? Um, so, like I say, it's not quite the same as a blood moon, which I have done. Be I have seen a blood moon before. They call it a blood moon. It's when the moon turns that deep red colour, and uh, that's when it's totally eclipsed by the shadow of the Earth. It doesn't go completely dark, a, a total lunar eclipse, and it's all to do with the Earth's atmosphere transferring some of the light from the sun through the atmosphere of the earth onto the moon it's quite an amazing sight to show you a little picture of a total lunar eclipse that i got over blackpool a few years ago but this is how a partial lunar eclipse now the maximum eclipse is about to happen in about oh let me see about half an hour from now it's about quarter past three as i'm filming this right now and uh, it's going to be around about, not much, about three and a half percent of the moon will be in the moon, the Earth's uh, darkest shadow, which is called the umbra. So currently the moon, what we're seeing is most of the moon is in the penumbra. It's like the outer shadow. So that's what we're seeing at the moment and uh, what the, uh, the maximum eclipse which I will be staying up for. Yeah, so I've had to drag myself out of bed to do this. I'm supposed to be on holiday this week. That's why I'm staying here. Yeah, it's supposed to be a holiday, but I can't help myself, can I? You know what happened last night? We actually had an Aurora display last night. We had a red alert for Aurora, yeah, but I missed it. It was around about, started about two o'clock in the morning. We got this alert. I'll just show you on the screen now, this alert. I would have been able to see the aurora from here looking sort of that way because that's so, so north is that way but yeah amazing yeah look the security van's coming around again hope it doesn't look at me and think what's this guy up to here outside his van at uh, three o'clock in the morning <laughs> he must be mad wow Just look at that moon there, doesn't it look amazing? Anyway, it's now about half past three. We've fast forwarded a little bit and I'll just show you through the lens now. It looks amazing. There is definitely a dark patch around about two o'clock on the moon. Just look at that now. We're very, very close to the maximum of this partial eclipse. And you know, I was talking to a few people about this partial eclipse and a lot of them were saying, oh, I'm not too sure about this. It's only a partial and it's only about three and a half percent of the moon that goes dark. And we're pretty much seeing the maximum right now. But I actually think that that looks pretty amazing. It's really, really weird. There's a massive contrast between the very brightest part of the moon and the bit of the moon that's well it's it's disappeared there's like a little chunk a tiny little chunk being taken out of the moon and i think that that actually looks pretty amazing you know what what actually amazes me about it is not so much that the bit's gone dark part of the moon's gone dark because it's gone into the earth's darkest shadow but it's more about 
the bit that it hasn't gone dark on the opposite side looks really really bright brighter than normal and i never really expected that now i must look into that there must be a reason for that because to me it looks the brightest part of the moon looks even brighter than it normally would um i'm not sure if that shows up on the video but to me i'm looking at the moon now and it looks I can hardly see any detail on the bright part when normally you can do, even on a full moon. And I can clearly see that there's a dark patch up there as well, but it's that brightest part that's just getting me. I need to look that up and find out what that's all about, but there you go. Okay, so it's now 3.44 a.m. and we are now at the maximum eclipse of this partial eclipse of the moon so like i said most of the moon is in the penumbral shadow which is the less darker shadow not the full shadow of the earth and only about 3.5 percent 3.5 percent of the moon is in the full shadow the umbra of the moon but you know for such a small percentage it actually looks a lot more than that it's very very obvious that the moon has gone dark i mean i'm looking at it now it looks absolutely amazing just look if any normal person now looking at the moon would notice there's something weird going on it's very very bright at eight o'clock yet pretty much had a chunk taken out of it at two o'clock it's amazing so this is it folks this is how the partial lunar eclipse looked from the uk here in the lake district what a place to see it uh, it's just a shame I had to drag myself out of bed at um, three o'clock to see it. But there you go. Uh, I'm glad I did. So there you go. I'm going to leave it there now, folks. The show is not over yet. It's going to carry on until about five o'clock in the morning or maybe a bit later until that shadow moves completely off the moon. So, you know what? I actually wasn't too sure uh, about whether it was worth getting up for myself but uh, you know i'm so glad i did because um it was it definitely was worth getting up for you know a partial lunar eclipse doesn't sound spectacular certainly not as spectacular as a total lunar eclipse where you get the blood moon but i think it was definitely worth getting up for and i hope you got to see it because i did put I did mention it at the weekend when I did the live stream and I also put a post on the community page about it. But if you didn't see it, you got to see it right here on my video. So there you go. That's it for this video. The partial lunar eclipse as seen from here on this holiday park. I'm still trying to keep my voice down <laughs> at half past three in the morning. Um, absolutely spectacular. We even saw it rise earlier on as well yeah so there you go that's it for this video i hope you like it and don't forget to keep looking up